what is up you guys so we are back and as you see we have something in front of us from through night so i reached out to them and they were nice enough to let me try this out um this is a new product that they just released so um they were nice enough to let me try this out so huge shout out to to them over there at three night um i really love this flashlight i've been using this flashlight prior to this video so um i am familiar with it i've been using it for a couple weeks now so let's go ahead and jump into the packaging here. Um, the box itself, really simple packaging. I, I like the type of packaging here, um, really simple. I really like this packaging. Here on the side, um, it tells you what what it is um, right here. It just tells you uh, where the company is and all that. And then right here is the model of the flashlight, the BSS V6 black. And then CW, and then there's NW. Mine's checked off at CW. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe the colors. But, yeah. Um, same thing on this side as there is on the other side. On this side, you have the flashlight and that. So let's go ahead and jump into the box. Okay, so you have your flashlight here. You have this logo. I really like that logo there. It's, like, it's an Indian head. And then it's got like these uh, feathers on the sides. So I really like that. I, re I really dig that logo. This nice button here. Nice clicky button. That's to change your um, brightness modes for your flashlight. So there it is inside the box. Take it out and then you have everything underneath. So there's the flashlight. So before we go ahead and show you all about that, let's go ahead and show you what's in, in the box here. So in the box, as you can tell, I've been using this, so there is going to be a little bit of paint on here, so just ignore that. But <clears throat> first thoughts when I seen this, I was like, oh no, because I normally hate these type of uh, cases, this type of material, because normally you see this with like cheaper stuff, but this one's different. It's um, really good quality. And here on the side, it's got like that stretchy material, so that's really good. And it, this case forms to the flashlight really well. Um, here on the back you have this little hook, and then here is your belt loop, and this is really good material. Um, it's really thick, it ain't wore out at all from me wearing it. Um, yeah, this thing's done really good. And I got this flashlight right before the hurricane, so I was able to test it um, all through the hurricane. So I, um, so I was able to use the waterproof abilities and everything. In this case, it's held up really good, and it's been caught on everything. You see there's no material coming apart or nothing like that, so um, your case is really good. And then you have this little lanyard here, it says through knot. Just a little lanyard. You got your USB-C charging cable. Inside that little baggie was this clip. The clip clips on right here. They go right on there like that. You'll just push it on. I don't want to push it on there because I don't want to fight with getting it off, but that's how it, how it go on. It's right there on that um, little rim. So you get that clip in the box, which is really nice. And something n no company with like most products, not just flashlights, most products nowadays, they don't give you all this extra stuff that um, they thought about with this flashlight. So with this flashlight, they give you extra O-rings and stuff. You get two of these um, round O-rings, the other one's in the box. You get one of these little clear ones, which is probably for something inside. And then you get one of these, which is an extra battery flap case um, charging port. So if you lose this one, you get an extra one and you can pop that one in there. So that's really cool. So that's all besides the user manual. So yeah, they give you everything you need in there. Um, I really like the extras that they give you. Um, no company has ever done that. And I've bought a lot of flashlights and I've had... I've never, I've had like some of the little round O-rings, I've had some of those, but I've never had any of the extra like pieces like that. It's just really nice that they thought about that. Now that we went through the box, let's set this to the side. So here's the flashlight itself. Now, I really like the flashlight. Um, there's only one thing that I found that I don't um, like about the flashlight, I'm going to say, and that's with this battery flap. And it could be the way I use it, but it, I just like to use it like this. So when you're... When you're carrying it on your hip in the case and you put it down in the case this is how i carry it with the with this part down that way when I, i'm using it or when i go to use it i can just pull it out and just click the button instead of having to flip it 
So this could be just an issue for me because I'm uh, putting it in wrong. It could go in like this, but the issue I'm having is when I'm pulling this out, it catches in this um, the little flap here that you can grab onto. It catches every time and pulls that loose like that. Every time you pull it out of the case. So when you go to use it, I have to make sure this is pushed down in there securely where it can short it out. But that could be my issue because of the way I use it. But that's the only issue I have. So maybe they could just flip that around or maybe take this little uh, nipple piece off and make another way to open it that's like smooth. I don't know. But that's the only little issue. Um, the flashlight's really nice. So here on the back you have your main button which turns it on. So you can see it's on. And then here on top is your uh, button to click through the mode. So it has four modes I think. So one, two, three, three, four. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you just can't see it change. So um, the camera does not pick this up at all. Um, the the light is not just that beam that you see. Um, it's lighting up a good wide area, about 16 foot wide in front of me here. Um, maybe bigger, but it, it's a pretty wide area that's lighting up. It's not just this beam here that you see on camera. The camera is not picking it up at all, but this thing is lighting up my whole property right here. I can look all around my property. Like, you can't see it on camera, but all my property is lit up. I really wish it would show. You can kind of see, you can kind of see it shining there. It's, it's like having your phone in front of you, maybe a little bit brighter. You can kind of see it showing a little bit there on camera. And there's the second one, third one, and then the fourth one. But this thing's like a spotlight, guys. It shines way, way out there. And it's shining up my whole property way out there. And the further, the farther out it shines, like it gets even better. You just gotta take my word for it. I promise you guys, this light is a beast. It's way better than my spotlight. I'll never grab my spotlight. I'll always use this for little, big, whatever. Um, this light right here is made for it all. And I mean that. I just really wish it would show on camera how good this is doing of a night. This has four modes. As you can see, one, two, three, four, and then off. Here's your dim. So that's really cool. I like the button on there. It's really clicky. This one here, and this one is just a really nice, good rubber clicky button. But this is a nice button here. It's really nice. Um, right there, it just says VSS V6. Here, I like this texture because when it gets wet or if you're working on a vehicle or something and you get oil in your hands, this is a nice texture to have so it don't slip out of your hands. And then you have the texture right here um, so you, on the cap so you can tighten and loosen the cap really well. And here's the spot for the lanyard. Let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. So here's the cap. Everything is really well built. The threads are really smooth, well machined. I think this is 3400 milliamp hour battery, yeah, 18650, rechargeable, these batteries are pretty expensive, they're like 20 bucks, 20, 20 bucks alone, this one's actually 3 knot, that's really cool, so there we go, we know what's in it now, it's really light without the battery, it's light with the battery as well, um, that's one thing I like about it as well, it's not too heavy and it's not too light, it's got a good weight to it, so you know it's there and it's good quality, but it's not so heavy that it's just ridiculous. It's a good everyday carry. I carry this every day. I threw my other one away and just started using this the minute I got it, and I love this thing. I'm super impressed with this. Um, I highly recommend If you want a good carry light that um, you can use for small stuff, plus spotlighting, yes, I said spotlighting, this lights up my whole property. Of an, I tried showing um, some footage of that, but... Of course, it doesn't work out well with the camera, but it lights up my whole property just for the little lot like this. That's crazy. With a lot that is what? Five and three quarters? That's impressive. Like, I have a big Dewalt um, 
the big Dewalt spotlight, and this literally like shines almost as good as that. It's literally right there next to it. And this is a teeny tiny little light. This thing's amazing, guys. I really love it. Shout out to Three Knot. Um, I really want to test. They have a big round one. It's like a short stubby one, but it's big and round. And I really want to try that one out. Um, a friend of mine, he he uses one, and I really want to use it because they're good for caves and stuff like that, or abandoned houses, and I like um, doing stuff like that. So I really want to get one of those, which I can use this as well. But it'd just be nice to have one of those as well um, to try out. But I highly recommend Through Night. Uh, I've used Olight. I've used the Milwaukee flashlights. I've used a lot of different brands, and honestly this three night gives you a good quality light for a good price that's one thing i don't like about Olight is they're just so expensive and yes it's really good with flashlights um but i just don't think it's worth it and honestly three night is just better i really like their lights um you just gotta believe me guys and once you use one of these you will see what i'm talking about you will really like this flashlight and you'll you'll change your mind and start using um three night i've literally i'll literally use I literally buy no other flashlight but um, through through night flashlights. I love these flashlights. These are awesome. They're really good quality. Um, they're made very well, and the company's really nice. And if you get something from over there, I can guarantee you, you will love it. So I just wanted to show you guys this, and I hope you guys um, re uh, enjoyed this. Uh, I'll leave a, a link for you guys to go check this out, and if you want one, you can go purchase it through that link. So yeah, go check that out. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you ain't subscribed, make sure you subscribe because we are almost to 500 subscribers and I'm going to be doing a giveaway once we hit 500. And the only way to be able to win the giveaway is to be a subscriber. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel to win that giveaway because we are almost about to hit 500 subscribers. And it's going to be a good giveaway. It's not going to be something little. It's going to be a good giveaway. So just stick around and you'll see. Um, but shout out to Through Night. I appreciate you guys over there for sending me this. Um, I really, really appreciate this. And y'all have just uh, won me over but yeah guys that's pretty much it with this um, I have nothing else to say about it like I said I have nothing else uh, to say bad or complain about it besides that little issue with the little cover here flopping up every time I take it out but that's, that's the only little thing I have um, to say about this other than that this thing's awesome I highly recommend it if you want a good flashlight, go get this BSS V6. It's a new release, and I highly recommend it. Um, I've used this through the hurricane, um, so it, I, I put it to the test. It's been in the water. I've used it many, 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 many hours. I don't even, I ain't even charge it. I got it in the mail, and I ain't even charged it. And it's been, I don't know, it's been like two weeks, maybe. Two, three weeks. That's pretty good. And I've been using it a lot. So, I mean, this thing's been through it, but I'm going to go charge it right now, so I'm going to go do that, but um, y'all hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.